Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to my chamber of chakras and thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for September 4th, is it 17th, 2024. And it's Transformation Tuesday, everybody. Yes, the full moon lunar eclipse is happening today in my local time zone. And it has already begun the transition from birth, death, to rebirth. Oh yeah. The cycle of life is reflected by the moon. But it is eclipsed by earth. Casting a shadow on the mirror of the moon. Yes, this is a deeply dynamic full moon because it's the second super moon out of four in a row. On top of that, the eclipse is compelling celestial event that influences us to face our dark side and reconcile it with a light that shines in the central core, column of light in our core. There is my paper towel roll, right? Yes, make sure it's not blocked by anything. Yes, clear it. So yeah, it combines male and female energies, right? It's our connection to sky and earth. Yes, connects us to heaven and earth. But the circle of the moon is fully lit by the sun when it's a full moon as they face each other with the earth in between. Okay, so it's like mom and dad with baby in the middle. Yeah. The man and I went through that stage with all of our six kids until they were able to walk. Yeah, so the sun and moon are like coddling earth, right? Which in a lunar eclipse, the earth, the sun and the moon are all aligned. So earth sees its own shadow right? Like Groundhog Day, you know, when the groundhog emerges from its burrow and sees its shadows, goes back into hibernation as winter continues for like another six weeks or so. But this super moon partial lunar eclipse in Pisces tells us to pause rewind and review our past traumas and programming to assess what have we done with them to become the people that we are today. If you have done the inner work these past five years like I have, then the transition to the new, truer version of you won't be so drastic. Yeah. <clears throat> I have taken all of my early childhood adversity and rolled them up into a big ball of fire to burn up all the dross from my silver tongue and surfacing as a finer sword of the spirit. You dig? Mm -mm -hmm. No regrets, no bitterness, no resentments. I choose to feel good about my life experiences because they have made me the woman that I am today. And I'm in love with her. Yeah, it was a rough climb, but I'm almost there at the top. See you at the crossroads. I say Bone Thugs and Harmony singing about when we die to the flesh and live by the spirit. Yes, the crossroads. The Bible says in Galatians 5, 24 through 26, those who belong to Christ Jesus 
have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Okay. The Pisces moon nudges us to complete our transformation into the truest of who we are and make that revelation known to the world around us. It's about completion, the uniting of light and dark in the middle way of Christ consciousness. Get small. Yesterday, I talked about the Vesica Piscis, right? The shape formed by two intersecting circles. Look, I cut out two circles, right? Remember? Remember Rampa Room? <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me, do. I see L and Ray having a good day today and Nam with Abel and John enjoying life to the fullest this past weekend. <laughs> I'm always waiting for her to call out my name, but she never did. Anyway, back to Vesica Pisces or Piscis is how it's pronounced. <clears throat> the shape formed by two circles. Okay. Each circle represents opposing forces, okay? They're polar opposites, like male and female energies, okay? When these two circles intersect, they form the vesica piscis, right there, in the middle where my nose is, okay? They form a shared opening in equal measure, right? Turn it on its side. If you isolate that space there, it's the symbol for Christ, for Christianity. The place where we become one, right? God and man in communion with each other. Jessica Piscis. Oh, yeah. I feel like Yoda right now. Look at my Yoda pen from McDonald's Happy Meal. There is no try. There is only do. So anyway, here's the picture that I showed you yesterday, right? Of the Vesica Piscis. Yeah, good and bad are not accurate labels for these polar opposites, the two circles, because good is right here in the middle. Good is the vesica piscis, right? When you say, I'm good, you're not too hot or not too cold, right? You're just right. You're in the Goldilocks zone, not on one extreme or the other, but perfectly balanced in between, just like we are on this planet called Earth. <laughs> you know, when I look up at the sky at night, I see all of you, all of us, viewing the same moon and stars. Yeah, the same galaxy, the same universe. For we are one. Let's sing. Here we go.
Good singing, guys. All right. Now let's have our coffee talk. Go grab yourself a cup of whatever and let's feel some tea. Yes. Mijita Carmenita came to visit Big Blue House yesterday to jam with my daughter TLC, AKA Trinity Lauren Conley, AKA Chooch Grouping on Euphora on Insta. Yes, they have a gig in Ontario coming up. So Carmen was banging on the drums and Trinity was plucking on her five string bass guitar yesterday afternoon. Yeah, rehearsing for that event. I told you Carmen was evacuated from her home and I misspoke yesterday when I said that she lived in Northridge, no. She doesn't. I verified it with her yesterday. Her home is in Wrightwood. But she's staying with her grandma here in San Bernardino until that bridge fire in the Angeles National Forest is contained. Anyway, the fire, the line fire around here in San Bernardino is still going too, activated by the winds that we've been having these past couple of days. And it has caused a radical weather change from like extreme hot to really cold. Yeah. The rain helped to soak smoldering flames, but the firefighters are still out there keeping it under control. Thank you, firefighters for your service. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was on the phone with my brother Norman last night and we were talking about our childhood and how we were brought up in the Filipino culture of honor, respect, and obedience to our elders in the most extreme sense of the words, you know? And we're just reflecting back on those early childhood years. And I could not find an example of genuine affection. You know, the demonstration of love. Yeah. We were raised more by fear than with love. Don't get me twisted. Our parents loved us, but it was the kind of love that's understood, you know? Like those imperative words, like go there, go here, you know? It's like you understood. Well, what, that's what I mean by love that's understood, right? The demonstration of that love like had, had an agenda. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? Yeah, I was taught to love with strings attached. Mm. Word. Like, if you love me, you'll obey me. Which to me means if you don't obey me, then I hate you. Yeah, my brother Ella and I spent the first decade of our lives deaf and dumb, muted by the teaching, do not speak unless you're spoken to, and no TMI, because we don't want to reveal any family secrets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I am so glad, and I thank God, my real father, for breaking the spell that bound my lips and blinded my eyes. Once I was afraid, I was petrified, thinking I could never live without you by my side. Oh no, not I, I have survived. As long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I got all my life to live. I got all my love to give. I will survive. I have survived. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. Imagine I'm 64 years old next year and I faced so many challenges in life, you know, brought up in that kind of environment and then 
having to face all my phobias, you know? I mean, I went through health crisis, six kids, and you know, 30 some years of marriage to the same man and survived. Gloria Gaynor, 1978, I will survive. Yeah, she knew all about survival from, you know, toxic relationships, but you know, it's not just about surviving, but also thriving. BTW, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow for an evaluation to get some dentures. Oh yeah, it's a shadow I have to face because I hate going to the dentist, but I have to. I have to get over the fear and be brave I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> who says, oh, I love to have strangers excavating my mouth. No one. It's torture. It's inhumane. But it's part of the package of living in this earthly body. Am I right? Life is all about pain and suffering, y'all. Mm. Yeah, guys, I have so many phobias, but courage and bravery got me this far. And I know God is going to take me all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Yeah, my black moon Lilith is sitting right on top of my Leo moon in my natal chart. So I revel in it and perform like a diva that I am. Yeah. I've always wanted to have dentures ever since I was a little girl. Yeah, watching my Lola soak hers in a glass of effervescent solution on her side table by her bedside. Yeah, so I'm calling in sick, y'all. Okay, I won't be here tomorrow. I won't be doing an astro show tomorrow because I want to rest and relax in this full moon lunar eclipse energy in Pisces, right? This full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces helps us close those chapters of our lives that no longer serve our highest good and best interest. Yeah, it's time to let go of the past and release the good lessons learned from its experience by sharing your knowledge and wisdom with the next generation to make a positive difference in the world and create a brighter future for all that comes after us, right? Let's leave this place better than when we found it by living inside out and bringing heaven on earth. All right. Yes, how perfect is that? That the crown chakra rules the day with the energy of Tuesday, the day of Mars, the action planet, right? There's no better time than now to put your ideas and emotions in motion. Yes, get out of your head and express the desires of your heart outward demonstrate yes present make moves to manifest your dreams and visions into reality i mean let's get shit done let's put the emotional tone we set yesterday into action today okay get in tune with your passion and go where your heart leads Follow your bliss through your gut instincts, intelligence, and intuition. Intelligence, y'all, with love and compassion for yourself and others. Okay, the Sanskrit name for the crown chakra is Sahasrara, which means thousands of petals representing spiritual awakening, blossoming eternally as consciousness expands. And the color of the crown chakra is violet and white. 
I painted my nails pale purple with this gel polish called Crying Out Cloud. <laughs> Isn't that a genius name for a pale purple gel polish? Crying Out Cloud. Crying Out Cloud. To open, activate, and balance the crown chakra. Oh, yeah. And I stayed in my lavender nighty. Look at this little robe, right? My lavender house dress. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I stayed in this pajamas today because I'm sick. And look, I even have my lilac flower of life blanket to help me with my chills. <laughs> yeah, I'm sick with a cold and flu. And so is the man. The man is in bed struggling with chills this morning. Yeah, me, I have a heavy head pulsating with eyeballs, like feeling like they're gonna pop out on my of the sockets and my gums swollen. Nothing to worry about. So the crown chakra, okay, it has the highest frequency of all seven of our primary chakras. It's located at the top of the head, spinning about two inches above the crown. But the crown chakra is our antenna to tune into the soul star chakra, which sits right above it. About a foot above the crown chakra is the soul star chakra. Okay, so the crown chakra tunes us in to the soul star chakra to access the heavenly realms, right? The Sanskrit name for the soul star chakra, which is a brilliant white star color. The Sanskrit name is Vyapini. Vyapini. And it means the seat of the soul. The universal heart. Okay? As the root chakra grounds us to Earth's grave, the crown chakra connects us to heaven's gate. Okay? The soul star chakra is where we find our true self and our life's purpose. Yes, it's where we remember the mission that we came here on earth for. And where we learn the fundamental reason for our existence. Yeah the soul star chakra, and we access that through the crown chakra, okay? So wear pale purple today to open, activate, and balance the crown chakra, yes, and link to your higher self and God. Yes, the Pisces moon. The Pisces moon pushes and pulls on our soul spirit. Right? To move earth energy up through the divine door of the crown chakra and open the gates to the heavenly realms in communion with God at the Ark of the Covenant. Right? The Ark of the covenant where we meet between two cherubims, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Yes, here's a visual. On the positioning of the highest three chakras of our subtle body. Okay. Here's the chart of our subtle body. Okay, so here we have 
the third eye chakra, which spins in the core of the brain and generates these energy lines that project out of our head in three axes, forming a halo around it when we achieve enlightenment, okay? Then right here at the back top of the head where the hair swirl is, underneath that hair swirl is called the Bindu chakra, okay? The moon center. And then up here, two inches above the head, is the sun center, okay? The crown chakra. So moon and sun balanced by the Ajna, the third eye, right? Yeah, three is a magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. As in the three main life force channels in our core, right? The Pingala, the Ida, right? Converge into the center, which is the Shishomna, where all the chakras are, okay? Yeah. Another correspondence I have is with the armor of God. For the crown chakra, I connect it with the helmet of salvation. Yeah. In the armor of God. It's our insight and spiritual discernment, the helmet of salvation, the inner knowing that no matter what happens, God's got our back. God's got you. Jesus saves, like the firefighters putting out the flaming arrows of evil, right? Hallelujah, hallelujah, you, hallelujah, me, hallelujah, us. Yes, and here's my mandala for the crown chakra. See that color? Yes. Violet, lavender in the center. And then radiating out is the color of the third eye because they're connected, right? The third eye chakra is the light that illuminates the path to the divine door, which is the crown chakra right? The beginning and the end of all creation is the center of the mandala, the magic circle, the origin of creation, right? The point of consciousness. Anyway, yeah, and I started a new one, a new mandala yesterday, and here's where I'm up to. Yeah, Another Wizard of Loops design. Isn't it brilliant? Yes, this one is called Dreamcatcher. It, I think it's gonna be big because it's got five parts to it. I follow along on Wizard of Loops channel. She has a crochet tutorial. Yeah, but this is the color of the crown chakra. Violet, right? And Amaranthin is also here to say hi. Say hi, Amaranthin. And show off her color for the crown chakra. Right? Kumusta? Connect to your higher self and God today. And happy full moon. Lunar eclipse in Pisces day. Thank you, Amaranthin. Yes, the lunar eclipse is happening tonight at 7.30-ish Pacific time. So do your own personal ritual to stir up the deep waters of your soul from the bottom up and let all that garbage come up. Sift out all the gunk and junk and release repressed anger and suppressed emotions in a positive way productive way for your benefit and the benefit of those around you, for the good of those around you, okay? So chant the mantra for all seven 
primary chakras. Lum, vum, rum, yum, hum, shum, aum. To clear any blockages to their spin and to freely flow divine energies up and down your spine, generating a rainbow field of energy that unites everything that there is. Let's burn this Nag Champa incense to cleanse our space from negative energies, shall we? Jai Guru Deva Om Shining One, Remover of Darkness, Jesus Christ, glorify us with your heavenly light to guide us on the path of righteousness in everything we do and say. Strengthen and fortify our soul and spirit to face our fears and transform us into the people that we were created to be. Amen and amen. Hmm, I love that smell. Yes. Here are some Bible passages to reflect on today. Psalm 42, 4 to 6. My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my savior and my God. Yes, counter it with praise and worship. Yes, sing unto the Lord. Unto thee, O Lord, unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul, do I lift up my soul? Unto thee, O Lord, unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Do I lift up my soul? Oh my God, oh my God, I trust in thee, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. Ooh, I love that song. Yeah, from the youth choir and my late brother Alexis used to sing that with us together. Anyway, next scripture passage, Psalm 23, 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Ooh, love that. Ephesians 2, verse 10. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Our mission. And last one is Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So let God do the driving in this road trip we call life and trust his process of healing and recovery as we lean on our faith that God has our best interest at heart no matter what. Life is not always what it seems to be. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and a rainbow leading to a pot of gold at the end of our journey. So hang in there and enjoy the rest of your life to the fullest. Okay, I end the show with the ringing of my solar plexus mini meditation bowl. Here we go. Ram. Ram Ram
Ram. Nice. All right, you guys. I'll see you not tomorrow, but the next day, I hope. Okay? And as always and as usual, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.